time for this month's monthly mylar gun. It's plastic the show! paper and plastic show. Greetings from Earth 1175. I am Multiverse D. And I'm Arf. And welcome to the Paper and Plastic Show. Today we are going to review our monthly comic book shipment from DCBS. Ooh, I love, I like comics. Yeah, we got some fun stuff here. So um, we'll just get right into it here. Um, I'll let you drive here, Arf. So uh, first off, go ahead. King size. Con. It, it, it's pronounced Conan. So Conan the Barbarian. And here's who's writing it. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of art team. So this is kind of like, I would call it kind of like a comic book jam. It's all a bunch of different stories from different creators, different writers, different artists. Um, this is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Conan Comics at Marvel Comics. So we could open up really quick. There's a there's a story in here that I thought was really neat. There is a key, uh, Kevin Eastman story in here. He did the writing and the art on it. And I thought that was cool. Kevin Eastman, one of the creators of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I thought Ooh. that was exciting. I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah? Who's your favorite turtle? Um. You have a favorite? Michelangelo. Michelangelo? Yeah. I think my favorite's Raphael. Okay, do you want to go on to the next book? Next, we have Heroes at Home, which I think it's Heroes Quarantining. It is. This is kind of a fun, one-off story. I'll open it up really quick because this is an interesting... Um, it's supposed to be what the Marvel superheroes did during quarantine. Or I guess um, what they're still doing. Wolverine, Thor, Hulk, Face Mask. Black Panther. And then they look funny. They do look funny. This looks like a fun little book. And then the size is interesting too, right? <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a comic this size. You know, I've seen little digests and stuff, but just like a little square like this. This is this is an interesting format. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Next. DC's Very Merry Multiverse. Teen, ten tales of heroic holiday high jinks. Eighty page giant. So again, this is this is like what I would call a, a jam issue. It's a collection of different stories from different creators. This features different characters all around the DC multiverse. So holiday themed stories. It looks like. I think who's this guy? This boy. Oh, that's Captain Carrot. Does he eat carrots? He does. He eats carrots to give him his superpowers. There's Lobo. Yeah, there. Lobo's in there too. You can only imagine what his Christmas story is like. He has a very famous Christmas story from the 90s, the double paramilitary Ooh, Christmas. Batman Beyond. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Um, next. Oh, looks like they sent us a mini poster. Ooh. For DC's Future State. Very fun. Look at that. And right here is some information. Looks like a checklist on the back. Nice. Uh, DCBS is pretty good about giving us little extras sometimes. Little posters or comic giveaways. So these are always fun. Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Enter the Phoenix Prologue. Number 39. Yeah, so this is the ongoing Avengers title. Um... Looks like they're doing a Phoenix storyline right now. It's a, a Jean Grey right there. Looks like a maybe prehistoric Jean Grey. And dinosaurs. Yeah, right. Um, next beware beware my power. Green Lantern season two. The battle of the What is this word? Uh Battle of the Sexes is only beginning. And number ten. Multi Crisis on Infinite Earth. So this is a continuation of the Grant Morrison Liam Sharp run. This is a pretty cool run that's going on with Green Lantern right now. Coming to an end soon. Marvel looks like Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Mm -hmm. This is a continuation of that Alex Ross series leading up to the Earth X storyline. 
the House of Kent, Chapter 7. The future depends on Todd Fly. Action, Action Comics, 1028. Mm -hmm. so this is a, a continuation of the Bendis run. <coughs> Action Comics, this is also coming to an end soon. But uh, a great run there. And then this one? This is Rorschach. This is the Tom King limited series of Rorschach. Some fun covers there. Dark Multiverse, Crisis on Infinite Earths, number one. This is a continuation of these one-shots. Um, kind of a what-if or imaginary story of tales from you know, DC events of the past. Usually these have some kind of a horrible or disastrous turn in the storylines. These are pretty fun, especially if you know, you're familiar with the original series, obviously. This one's dealing with Crisis on Infinite Earths, a legendary miniseries from DC from the 80s. Um, Superman 28. Again, this is another continuation of the Bendis run of Superman, which is going to be coming to an end, as like I said before. Earth's Mightiest Avengers. Enter the Phoenix, Part 1. So more more Avengers here. They're, they're doing two a month, so this is another title from Avengers. The True Believers. King in Black. It's like, I think that's what also comes with it, too. Yeah, so this is True Believers, so they're, they're reprint dollar comics from Marvel. And this is a, usually they tie it into some type of an event or a character. This is tied into a King and Black storyline. And this is Beta Ray Bill. It's Dinosaur Thor. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Beta Ray Bill, is a, he's an alien who finds Thor's hammer and gets the power of Thor. How so, is he worthy? I guess he's just a worthy person. Does that doesn't mean all aliens are worthy then? No, it's kind of like humans, just only certain people are worthy. Dark Knight's Metal, uh, Tales from the Dark Multiverse. Right, so again, this is another multiverse storyline, kind of a, a what-if imaginary story. This time it's dealing with the Dark Knight's Metal. And then, um, Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Flashpoint. So again, this is a this is another dark multiverse storyline. This time, it's dealing with Flashpoint. Whoa! It looks like we got that. Looks like Reverse Flash there, and then there is probably Thomas Wayne, right? Mm -hmm. His father is Batman down there below. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, that was a pretty fun video. What do you think of those comics? They were good. I want to read the heroes at home. Right, that looked like a lot of fun. Uh, some other fun stuff in there, too. So I, I hope everyone enjoyed watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>